Welcome to the ADP Project. You're with your host, Steve and Jeff. G'day, mate. How G'day, are you? mate. I'm really good. I'm happy today. Oh, are you, Steve? Well, that's I'm good. Very happy. Because because the whole idea of this, and I was talking to Tony on the way to work when we went past and got our Zarafa's coffee. Oh, um, product place, placement. Do you yeah, like that? Yeah. Yeah. They only paid a million dollars for that as well, too, Steve. Yeah, of course. I mean, Doll yeah. hairs, maybe. No, they did not pay a cent. No. Uh, just happened to like Zarafa's. Famous podcast mm. we are, so, you know. And, t- and Tony was just saying, because it's a miserable day here mm. in Brisbane today, the heavens have opened up. Seriously, this morning, did you guys get the thunder and the lightning? Yep. Crazy what? to wake up to you know, like, torrential rain and thunderstorms. Anyway, so it's a miserable day. And I said we we're doing a podcast on humor. Yes. And um, and she's saying, that's really good. because. And I said, you know, the other day, and I, I said, said to, you know, we were talking about how sad and how frustrated the world is. Mm. And... Um, you know, perception is a, is a big reality. That whole thing that ignorance is bliss. Mm. But one of the best things to do is to take in something that's negative and rather than focusing on it, change that focus for something that's actually positive Absolutely. and feel good. And so this podcast is actually, and we spoke about a little bit, Steve, in that yeah. last podcast, humor doth, does good like medicine. It does. And a, and a merry heart does good. So and, and 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 it's ancient text, biblical, mm. and there's people that are studying it, PhD. And I said, Steve, let's look at the science yes. in terms of what it really does for the body. Now, from a very very top line, we know that when you laugh, that it releases endorphins. Mm-hmm. But I don't really know a great deal more than that. And even the science of endorphins and how they work, because I know that you can get endorphins from uh, gym, you can yep. get endorphins from uh, even running, tickling. Yes, you can tickle someone. That releases um, endorphins. Sex? Um, yeah. Not okay. the way you do it, no, Steve. No, well, one minute worth. But uh, in terms of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not Steve at all. He's a tender. Oh, jeez. Tender. Poor Beck. She, she, you know, she, she gone. <laughs> this is, a, this is, a, this is going to be a lot of red pen, I feel, in this episode. And by the way, for the people that are listening, if this makes it through into the cut, the red pen is when Brooklyn <laughs> shakes her head and says, that is not politically correct. Yes, we've offended uh, in fact, somebody. I'm sorry, Steve. Every time you open your mouth, you offend somebody. In fact, that reminds me of something. The other day, I came down, uh, and Brooklyn grabbed me, and she says, "Oh, look, we've been, we've been, we've been talking about you." And I said, "You disgust me." <laughs> what? <laughs> you discuss, yes. It took me a while to click up. What are you talking about? Uh, See how I said it, with, but with a question mark at the end because my voice went up instead of an exclamation. <laughs> <laughs> Brook- Brooklyn's in the background drinking coffee, almost sprayed everywhere. Um, well, come on, this is a this is a fun podcast. It is a fun podcast. Yeah. I mean, that the first paper I'm quoting is is you know from the post postgraduate medical journal. Yeah, but it's got a picture of Patch Adams on it. Ah, and we spoke about Patch Adams the other day. And yeah. Look, again, for those that haven't watched the movie, and. Steve, I'm going to go and watch it with Monica it's good. Potter, I think her name is. Um, oh, yeah. she, she was awesome. Um, good film. And you've met Patch. I've met Patch. I All did right. a talk with him. So the science of laughter, Steve, let's yeah. let's get serious about, <laughs> <laughs> about this. Well, there's so many journals on it. I mean, you know, there's, 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 great, uh, like, like this great journal here I've got in front of me, Humor, Laughter, Learning and Health, a brief review. And, and all these studies are coming out showing how good it is. But I guess it all started with Patch, really. I mean, he popularised it. Well, he made he made comedy, did he? Well, he, <laughs> no, he made, you're talking about the science and medicine. Correct. Right. Yeah, he, he he sort of was actually. The, I beg to differ. I think Jesus made it actually, but it was in Palms, wasn't it? About having your laughter as being a medicine. Psalms. Psalms. Is it? Yeah. yeah. That's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny, Steve. <laughs> you weren't trying to be funny. Either, no, I wasn't. Oh, okay. Palms. Palms. I was always pronounce it palms. <laughs> Psalms, it's a silent. Psalms. Silent P. You silent know, P. You know all about silent P, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right. Let's get on let's, the page. Okay, let's get serious. Oh, right, look. Um, Pat, Patch, was a, Patch was a medical doctor. Right. Okay, he graduated as a medical doctor in 1971. Yep. And he had this philosophy that he believed that that, that you should be more involved in your patients compared to what he was taught. Um, uh, not just treat just people as a disease, but Correct. actually get to know the person, get to to understand them. Yeah, and, and, and one of his famous lines from the movie, if you haven't seen the movie, it was Robin Williams, he says, um, we've got the, uh, you know, I can't remember the disease, but the cystic fibrosis in, in room three. And Patch's first question, well, if you've got any questions, yes. 
what's the patient's name? Yeah. And it's like, oh, well, I don't know, yeah. cystic fibrosis. You know, and, and so that he, he talked about personalising medicine. Yeah. And, you know, he still runs consults this very day and it takes three or four hours. How old is he, Steve? Well, graduated in 71, I think, you know, so he's, well, you know, he's been in his 70s now. Wow. Yeah, he was, I mean, he's got gorgeous long grey hair that when, when I met him about eight years ago, half was pink and half was blue. And, and I said, why do you do your hair like this? He said, because it attracts attention and opens yeah. up conversations. Yeah. So, you know, he, he came in and he, he was wearing a dress one day and he wore amazing gear that that just, you know, you know I mean. And, and it's time. Yep. That he wasn't doing it because he was making a statement about um, cross-dressing yeah. or, you know, uh, drag or anything no, like that. No. He was doing it simply because it was purple cow. Correct. Right? Correct. And, and this whole purple cow philosophy is stand out, be different, mm. attract attention, yeah. and that's an icebreaker he could use to pull down the barriers and actually get to talk to people. Exactly right. So, yeah. And it was quite funny because, you know, not – and and remember, we stayed at the same hotel – and I catch up with him over breakfast, and he would walk to the seminar dressed up, like he, he, that's the way he dressed. Right, it was just it, it was natural. He didn't. He said, I, "I barely watched TV in the last thirty years." Yep. He he was just, you know, I don't know, just an amazing guy. And I had to bloody follow him as a presenter. So you know, he was he was yeah, up there, yeah. and I was down here. You know, and he was just so. Really? Yeah, well, sounds inappropriate. <laughs> I was going to say, but anyway, keep going, Steve. <laughs> he 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 had the he had the the audience in the palm of the hand, and. You know, morning tea came around, just just talked straight through it. Nobody cared. Yeah, he just right. had that ability. And then about 2 o'clock, he was due to finish at about 1 o'clock. He said, oh, anyway, I've done. I'm, I'm out here. And it's like, oh, shit. So I got on and, and no one had lunch. No one had eaten. He was that cap, you know, like normally when you go to these medical conferences, yeah. you know what it's like. It's like, oh, morning tea, you know, talking about the bloody heart muscle yeah. or whatever. And, and the first time I actually saw him was an anti-aging conference in America in 2005. And he came out as a woman, again, dressed. Yep. And he said, oh, and this conference is on anti-aging because he came out as an auntie and he was all dressed up as an auntie. Oh, I love, I uh, love pun. It's, it's punny. It's punny. But, but you know what? The, the research shows that, that there is something about laughter and, and humour as being good medicine. And, yes, I've got studies here showing brain things and everything. But, but what brain he pines. That sounds scientific. Brain changes, oh, okay. you know, serotonergic changes, endorphin oh, no. oh. changes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all As this, I all tell Brooklyn, and we keep talking about <laughs> yep. this, watch Evil Dead 3, Army of Darkness. There's a scene in there which is so funny. I mean, again, if, if, if people are looking for resource material, I have got stacks. Right? Yeah. But Army of Darkness is one of my favorite films. Is that a comedy? Uh, Bruce Campbell, it sounds Bruce Campbell. They actually made it into a TV series a little bit later on. I haven't actually watched that yet because it sounds wow. a little bit sweary and I've got little ch children around. Jeez. But, um, but yeah, there's this scene in there where he, I won't spoil the, the 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 plot, but he goes back in time and like, you know, they're starting rifling through his 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 car and they find like his gun and all the rest mm -hmm. of it. And he's like, you know, basically you Neanderthals, you know, there are things that you couldn't even comprehend, like molecular structures and things, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah, it just reminded me of that anyway, Steve. Brooklyn, watch the freaking film. Yes. I've been how long have I been telling you to watch that movie for? Five years. Five years. Five years. <laughs> she hasn't watched it. She resists. Oh, Brooklyn. Idiocracy is another one you've got to watch. Yes, and in fact, that's a good one. For today's day yep. and age, yep. you must watch Idiocracy. And if you don't find it funny, yeah. <laughs> you're part of the problem. It's more of a it's more of a documentary, isn't it? A mock mockumentary. It is it? a mockumentary that has come true. I know, and it, it's quite quite amazing because it, this is only humour and humour. I mean, I, I love what I love as Australian. Look, I'm, I'm an Aussie, sixth generation, and I love jokes about Australians. Well. Oh, and I'm a Kiwi. Yes. And I love jokes about Kiwi. And let, let me just insert this here. Yes. Right? So um, <laughs> a guy came up to me the other day and uh, and he said, uh, he was an Australian. Yes. And he said, oh, I'm looking for that um, Swedish um, furniture shop. And it says, uh, and, and he goes, and I said, does it look like Ikea? <laughs> Because I'm a Kiwi, it's like I, I, Ikea. Does it look like Ikea? <laughs> Our Americans and friends are probably going, yeah, what, what is about? he talking? It's Ikea. Yeah. But Australians, New Zealanders have got a beautiful accent. I think one of the most lovely accents ever. It's so funny because I hear it on TV shows yeah. from time to time. And you know what, what Tony says every time she hears a Kiwi accent? She goes, that is the most disgusting pig Latin I have ever heard in my life. It's, she hates my accent. 
Really? Which is why I sound more English, actually. <laughs> yes, <Steve. awesome. laughs> yeah. It's like, darling, <laughs> would you like to go out for some crumpets? I've, I've got some, I've got a, uh, I've got some mildly offensive jokes about Australians. Um, what's oh, the hardest? Got, what's the hardest? Mild. Well, well, this one, I don't know, this one may or may not get a red pen, but I'm an Australian, so I can sort of say this, uh -huh. is what's the hardest three years of an Australian's life? Uh, first grade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Second grade. Sounds about right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, and this, this this guy was um in New Zealand and he wanted to come to Australia and he was applying for a visa and you know to go through all the visa questions they said oh have you had a criminal record and he goes oh, I didn't know you still had to have a criminal record to go to Australia wow because <laughs> we are descended from convicts and I am too Brooklyn so put the red pen away I am actually literally oh no, 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 it's, it's, yeah, it's because because I am literally from a convict a guy who stole potatoes well Steve the so. nice thing is is that from whence we started <laughs> hence we return. <laughs> I'm serious. It's a good segue. It just yeah. reminded me for some okay. reason. Anyway, he's um he's he's marching to his death um at the end of the movie, and his little boy is still in the concentration camp, and he's and he's doing the funny walks and all the rest. Is it Wonderful Life? I think it is. Oh, um, yeah. it, it, it stars the Italian um actor, uh, long, tall, skinny guy. It's 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 a marvelous film. It's about human spirit overcoming adversity, which mm -hmm. is part of obviously what this podcast is about, yeah. right? But uh, it just shows that humor. No matter what when the circumstance or, or what the situation, for the moment can actually bring some joy. And yeah. at the end of the day, life without joy is is incredible. Really, it's not worth living without joy, really. And and exactly. And and back in 1967, when Patch went to medical school, is when he started. So he's probably mid 70s now. I'm just doing the maths because I'm I was born in 69. Yep. Um, and there's jokes about that. We don't need yep, to go 1769. There. Yep. That's 1769. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And um, so so you know he'd been starting. You know. He, he back at that time the doctors were like God, and they said whatever you did, you did. There was no oh, well, I'll just check that on my phone, or mm -hmm. so you know what doctors said went, and and what he when when I saw he said that the doctors, if you've seen the movie, he said they were in real life three times worse than that. They they did not really care for the patients. They just cared about treating the disease mm -hmm. and not the person. Mm -hmm. And he just saw a big flaw in that, mm -hmm. and and got actually in trouble in medical school for excessive happiness. Wow, that's true. Wow. Imagine being excessively happy. That's what you're charged with. Is it? I mean, because he, he just, you know, he used to, if you've seen the movie when, when he, he made like noodle baths for people, that's all true. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, because somebody, an, an older lady wanted to just bathe in a, a, a cooked noodles. And so he made that happen for her. Ah. And, you know, and then he, then he opened this, uh, I'll, I'll fast forward a bit, and he's opened these hospitals. You know, called the Gesundheit. Gesundheit, Gesundheit Institute. You know, which yep. is just a great name. It is. Uh, and he said the, the first is there's, there's, that's five or six rules, and one of them is you don't pay a cent, mm -hmm. and there's no there's no bureaucracy. It's all about treating. It's all patient focused. Love it. But it's like that that that, and we'll, we'll talk about humour, like that um, English show, Yes Minister. You remember that? Oh, and Yes Prime Minister. Yes Prime Minister. With, that the promotion. English and the Good Life, Steve. Do you yeah. remember this? I mean, we're showing our age now, but yeah. this British humour <laughs> yeah. kills me. I love it. I love I, I, it. I've actually got a study on British humour here, so we'll talk about that. It was a great uh, segment. And best British humour just is yeah. Red Dwarf because we were talking about canned laughter before. Yeah. And it's funny because I love that show. It's, yeah. Excuse the pun. I didn't mean that. But And then they did a season where they took out the canned laughter. Oh. Do you remember that, Matt? That was strange. Really? It just didn't feel right, so they put it back in again. Wow. It's, it's funny. funny. And there's something about, Stephen, I don't know if you've got anything in your paper there, Yeah. about canned laughter works. Yes. You know, a lot of people find it annoying, but it actually works. And actually we find comfort in hearing other people laugh. Well, it's, it's, it's like smiling, right? Yep. You smile, gives somebody else permission to smile. See? What? See? <laughs> proof. Absolute Scientific proof. proof. Scientific proof. Yep. Now, there was a guy who, who used laughter as medicine or first described laughter as medicine in the modern medical terms in 1979, okay. a guy called Norman, Norman Cousins. And he, he actually published in his book As Anatomy of an Illness. And he had the disease that I had, ankylosing spondylitis, wow. which is absolutely miserable pain. You're in pain all the time, lower back, yep. and you just knees flare up and yep. you get it's it's really bad. I was, you know, when I had I was depressed because I couldn't walk and I was 20. So yeah. he actually prescribed himself laughter and measured the analgesic effects of laughter. Just wow. laughing, like fake laughter, the, the act of laughing. I've heard of the Steve yep. and 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 again I guess it's that and I don't like the saying, but fake it till you make it. Yep. The okay, so tell us about fake laughter. All right. Does well, it work? The, yes it does. There are five forms of laughter. There's genuine, which is like, you know, you say a funny joke yep. about a Kiwi. You know, I always laugh at those. Yep. And they're self-induced. Hey. Yeah, because they're unrealistic. That's why. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. 
And then there's physical when you tickle someone and there's drug induced. And then there's 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 um, pathological ones, and then there's the fake laughter. Right. So there's six all up. Okay. So the the fake ones not not in the forms of these these laughter, but the fake laughter actually works. Yeah. A friend of mine who I actually went uh, when I was young, I used to work at Meyer, and they had a sports store there, and, and a girl I worked with there, Katie, actually went out and did her degree in um, in medicine, folk, and she actually had a, a, a group of laughter and it would they would just sit there and stand there in a circle and just laugh and i i, and I, I can't do that me no. personally but i appreciate you know and, and i mean i'd feel really self-conscious yeah. and a bit weird about it it's probably not but me. it worked and she said that it worked and i mean again it's showing steve it works it right? works it works absolutely amazingly and it works it changes your actual physiology Wow. Can, can you dive into the little bit deeper sure. exactly how sure. that works? There's, there's, there's many brain chemicals. The first one that increases is serotonin. Now, okay. our listeners feel may good. be familiar with serotonin. It's the feel-good hormone. Yep. It works really, really well. What else increases serotonin, Steve? Um, relaxing. Yep. Um, because it, 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 it's, it's antagonistic to cortisol. Right. So anything that drops cortisol will lift serotonin activity. Yeah, awesome. Yep. So natural tryptophan rich foods increase serotonin. Yep. Um, the like evening turkey. turkey is the uh, classic one. Yeah, turkey's good, isn't it? Turkey's a classic one. You know, you could eat up to two or three grams if you have a lot and enough turkey, which is quite a fair whack. Which then also makes you sleepy. Yeah. Yeah. Because tryptophan turns into serotonin, which turns into melatonin. Yeah. Which puts you to sleep. So so we know that 30 minutes of 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 laughter increases serotonin and it also increases the activity of natural killer cells. Oh wow. So boosts your immune system. I freaking knew it. Yeah. I mean I I mean no, sorry like but I just because it's funny talking to yeah. a lot of people with the big C yeah. and saying yep. to them you know and I said look you need to go and find somebody that you can listen to but I mean the things that I always say like absolutely straight off the bat mm-hmm. get rid of alcohol get rid of red mm-hmm. meat don't take stresses off the body mm-hmm. obviously remove yourself from any you know pollutants or you know frequencies or anything that may be of course the problem yep. obviously remove the problem yeah you know? of course but but high quality sleep clean water yeah fresh air go mm-hmm. on a holiday but laugh and yeah. i would say put on funny movies you know watch something that genuinely makes you laugh and uh there you go so it increases increases killer t-cells yeah natural killer cells um wow. and and increases it by 15 lus which is a unit of measurement of activity okay. yeah and actually echinacea doesn't even do it that much which is wow. a classic herb so oh, wow so it's significant oh it, it even gets better than that cortisol went down from 240 to 90 in 30 minutes of laughter really yes so I if mean, you're stressed out yeah you just need to Forget about that problem for a while and just go. I mean, do something that makes it, you it may be tough because your stress might be real and you. Uh, but but laughter has been shown to drop cortisol dramatically. Ah. There's one other thing that can drop cortisol, which I'm going to talk about in a little another little podcast. But it's related here. It's hugging. Oh, Steve, I'm all for the hug. Yeah. Well, they they did the, the trial that that I've, I've got. I'm going to be talking about later. Is 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 you can trial it on me if you want. Steve. Well, you know, it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. They, they did this trial where, where they gave them 15 minutes of counselling on the phone yeah. and they compared it to 15 minutes on a phone while they're hugging oh. a fake pillow, like a, 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 a what they call a hug V, which is a, a pillow that's shaped a little bit like a human, wow. which is a bit weird. And the act of hugging the pillow, yeah. not even your partner or anyone, a well, pillow, and talking to the phone, mm. dropped cortisol vastly more than the counselling. Tony has a, sur- a surrogate. Tony's got one of those body pillows. Well, so is Beck. She's got about... Well, first she had four and a half pillows that she uses to. Yeah, just, Tony does too. And it's it's like, seriously, it's like the Great Wall of China from yeah. the dog's book. It's like this, this, this thing. Oh, it's like, oh, crap. <laughs> what have I done now? But like, you know, and, then, and then there's the freaking biscuit in the bed as well too. Oh, does he? Like our dog. Yeah, don't get a dash hound. Because they, fr- I mean, I am like, I've had dogs in my entire freaking life. Right? Yeah. So do you know what we did to fix the problem? I'm like, this is not good enough. I don't have enough room. <laughs> so we got a super king bed. A super king bear. Do they exist? Yes, they do. They're 30 centimetres longer than a normal king, wider than a king. Seriously, we, we, our our uh, our bed is, I think, bigger than some some small states in the United <laughs> States. It's it's freaking huge. I mean, we could set up a you know our own rugby field on there. That's insane. We've got a, we a king-size bed. Nothing. Oh, way, you've, way too big. you've got a king? Yeah, we've got a, only got a king. Well, I mean, we, we've got Flatface who comes and sleeps with us. Yeah. And so he's only small. But Biscuit's only small. Oh, I, can have, I can have a long. farm, really, on our bed. We could have sheep and goats and ducks and everything. It's massive. But it is it is, it is big, right? Yeah. But, yes, the, the hugging pillow, yeah. Yeah, Tony's got one of those. So there you go. Maybe she's 
hugging it. Because and it reduces cortisol. Uh, and that was saliva yeah. and blood. So they measured it. And, and that was compared to ca- a counselor on the phone for 15 minutes. Mm. So the counseling did nothing to cortisol. But when they're hugging and talking on the phone, it dropped cortisol dramatically. What if they're just hugging and not listening to the counselor? I don't know. Well, well h- hugging, hugging actually works. There is more research on hugging but, but, too. No, but I'm serious. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think counsellors are incredibly important because yeah. it helps you to release some of those things yeah. that are pent up and a problem shared is a problem halved or something, yeah, that's they right. say. Something like so, that. so talking about those sorts of things, releasing the burden, then allows yeah. you to to get it off your chest. Yeah. So I love some of these old sayings because I think, you know, that anxiety and all that it sort works, of stuff, eh? you know, it does work, yeah. I mean, you mentioned English comics before and and weirdly there was a study on english comics oh i've got to say best english all right. comic they, of they've all rated time. them here oh, i don't know i haven't seen this I, izzy azad must be must be in the top five he must be if he's not who, who is it is he azad he's not on the top five well well there must have been a death star canteen yeah <laughs> i mean like I if you guys wrong. seriously if you have not watched death star canteen Go and watch. Go do yourself. Pause this right now. Flicker over onto YouTube and laugh for a couple of minutes, especially if you like Death Star, um, uh, yeah. Star Wars. But seri- one of my favorite. I mean, you just think about the absurdity. If I got this massive, you know, space station, yeah. there must have been a Death Star. Yeah. You know, where you go down between the battles to, you know, get some penny. It's, it's, Arab it's classic. It's it is it is freaking classic. Okay, so. Who else in English humour? Well, they've ranked um, them from two to ten. So two to ten. Oh, well, pick I mean, another ten. Oh, there's some very famous tens. Some I've never heard of. Oh, okay, just just get, put me out of my misery, Steve. All right, one of them is Ronnie Barker. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's the two Corbett's, uh, never the Twain as well too. Two Ronnies, was, yeah. The two Ronnies, I should say. Yeah. yeah. So it's a. Uh, and that's good night from me, and that's good night from him. But this is in the seventies. Yes. He was a very short man, thick glasses, yeah. but very, very funny. Totally inappropriate humour, oh, similar yeah. to Benny Hill, who Benny must have also been there as well too. Benny right? Hill is in here. He, very he, sad. It's his he, actual yeah. life story, which is funny. A lot of comics are like that, right? He, he yeah, he, he was ranked nine out of ten as, okay. as comedy, which I would have given him, you know, because I grew up with him. Totally like slapstick yep. and total. Like you know, upskirt sort of stuff. I mean, stuff oh, today. Yeah. If kids watched it today, they'd be like, "No, you can't do that." But back canceled. in the day, it was like you know, page three girl, and like yeah. Anyway, and they ranked them. Another ten here is Peter Sellers. Yeah. So he's he's Pink Panther. Up, Pink Panther. He was famous for the Pink Panther. Um, he, he was excellent in that movie. Uh, John I mean, Cleese. Talk- another ten. I, I have to say, John Cleese would definitely have to be a ten out of ten. Yeah. It was smart, wickedly yep. smart, and and I mean, Faulty Towers to yeah. this day. The Rat episode. Have you seen that? <laughs> Where, <laughs> uh, but see again, cancel culture cancelled him. Yeah, oh yeah, he was because gone. I mean, like he he um uh manhandled his manservant. Well, he, he made fun Manuel. of him. He was racist. Yeah, he, he was, manhandled his manservant Manuel. Yes, that's right. Remember, ke 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 not ke. <laughs> it's funny, and and and, and, and the one about the Nazis. Oh, oh so oh, good, so good. Don't mention goose, the war. Goose, goose, yeah, goose. that's right. Oh, yeah, so yeah. good. Oh yeah. yeah. And, and do, you know, do you know how? Many, okay, how many episodes of Faulty Towers did they make? It's only about like three seasons or something. It wasn't long. One season, eight episodes. Really? Just, just what, John? I know you're listening, yeah, he's buddy. Still alive. Go and make some more, please. Yeah. But, oh, no, because you know what he would say? Because he got in trouble and he actually gave oh, it to yeah. him the other day as well. He said, I yeah. couldn't make it. No. I couldn't make it now. No, someone to cancel him. Yeah. Another team here is, of course, Billy Connolly. Poor Billy. I like mm. Billy. I love the joke that he tells. <laughs> oh, There's the a joke that he's ready. telling and he goes, <laughs> he goes, when he was a young man doing what young men do yeah. in the bathroom. Right, which is the yeah. brush their hair. Yeah. He forgot to lock the door one oh, time. Oh, yeah. And his dad comes in and he's. Brushing his hair, yeah? Yeah, something else. And he goes, what do you do? He goes, caught with the deer in the headlights, red-handed. <laughs> red. I don't know what I should say, but anyway. And he goes, thank goodness you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Colony is, yeah, he's a bit rude, oh, but yeah. he is extremely funny and really Very suffering, funny. unfortunately, at the moment with, um, with dementia. Yeah. dementia. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so what what this paper showed? But anyway, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Who, but who was so of the of the tens? Who, who was? Did they say this is number one? No, no. What what they 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 just ranked like all those tens that I mentioned yeah. are all liked. And there's of course there's you know Peter Cook was a nine. There's lots of other great ones there that they ranked. And, and what they found was that the people that the higher of the ranking, the more humorous they were, the quicker they actually died. Isn't that weird? Like they actually died sooner. 
Why? I know, and and I actually they they couldn't work it out. But you got to remember, you that, know, I've got to say something about that, and, yeah. and this is just your observation. Um, typically, with a lot of people that are very very good comedians, yeah. uh, Robin Williams, yes, and all that, that, they also a, suffer from depression. They do, and and. And I don't know if it's a way of self-medicating mm-hmm. and they're actually medicating themselves and also because they care about people and they, again, once you can empathize with feeling bad, mm. what makes you feel better, yeah. you want to then produce that as well too, right? Correct. Is that what it is? It was. And also what they yeah. found was they that fame at an early age. I mean, age, if you need psycho, so just r- <laughs> ring my 1300 number if you you got some psychology. Un- unfortunately, fame at a younger age, which is what these people were when they were famous, you know, like, yeah. you know, it got them into drugs a lot. Well, and Steve, so bad lifestyle. Going back to the other things that yep. improve serotonin. Yep. Yep. Right. Drugs yep. was the one of them, right? Of course it was. I Why mean, and, and what's really f- interesting is I've got an extremely addictive personality. I could so be on drugs, mm. and, and love, but it, I don't. Yeah. Through force of will. Yeah. Uh, but no, no, I'm serious because yeah. some people have got an addictive personality. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, and I'm talking about you know your Vicodins and your yes. Oxycodines yeah. and all those sorts of things like. Great. I, and I understand why people get into them, but find other sources. Mm. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and that's the thing is that if you – the pendulum has to swing both ways. Yeah, right? exactly it does. So like you can't be stressed out all the time. You need that time of humour. You, you, also, you also need to get back into the real world and actually face the music, as they mm-hmm. say, as well too. But it's like advance, retreat, advance, yeah. retreat, not – constantly stay on one side or the other. Well, the pressure on these guys, they said there was a lot of pressure on them the to time. be funny all the time. Yeah. And, you know, you can imagine if you're Peter Sellers. Well, who, Rowan, who, Rowan Atkinson. Rowan Atkinson. Okay, and he yeah. was perfect. He yeah. And funny, because people met him. He yeah. was at a dinner. And um, and they said um, the little boy was, like, so happy to meet Mr. Bean. Yeah. He was like, oh, I can't believe I'm going to meet Mr. Bean. And he came over and he was like, he said to his mum, Mum, can I go to bed? This guy's not funny. Yeah. And it's like, what, what are you expecting him yeah. to constantly be performing all the time? Yeah. He's an actor, yes. right? So, and by the way, my other favourite series, yeah. Black Adder, Black specifically Adder. Black Adder Goes Forth, which is the fourth, fourth the series, one? which yeah. is we're set in World War One. Oh, my gosh, oh. so funny. Where he played Baldrick, wasn't he? Was no, no, Baldrick was, oh, was um, Tony, uh, oh. forget his name. He's awesome as well too, yeah. but very, very funny. Yeah, Lord Flashheart, probably one of my favourite episodes with Rick, who also from The Young, young ones. ones. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. See, British comedy by yeah. far, my hands down, the best. I mean, look at all the ones that we've just mentioned, right? Yeah. Lenny Henry as well too, actually, yeah. the Lenny Henry see show. That. See, people wouldn't even know what these things are. No. They're missing out on so much. I don't think I saw Lenny Henry. But, but yeah. I mean, yeah. the, 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 like, like take, um, you know, Rowan Atkinson, like he's still alive and he's, I think he's got the right balance. He's yeah. a very funny actor. He's, he's played James Bond in that. You know, remember he's, he's um, um, yeah Johnny English, Johnny English. That's right, yep. and he was classic in that. Yeah, but but uh, you've seen him interviewed, and he's like a proper Englishman, like straight laced and everything, and he's not well, you know so funny. Th- what's what do he and John Cleese have in common? Oh, apart from the obvious, they're both clever and you know. similar as Dave Chappelle as well. Too, they are coming out strong against this cancel culture. Oh, yeah, the cancel they're culture. saying that the cancel culture is destroying comedy. Now, mm. what's funny as well too, if you look at it right. And this is kind of the juxtaposition. Fear mm-hmm. is the greatest motivator. Yes, it, it is. is. More it than is. Green, absolutely. More than absolutely. love, more than anything. Because if you are afraid, it means that you're going to die. Yeah. So you are prepared to give away a lot. You're prepared to leave your meal mm-hmm. and run. I mean, if there's a tiger coming or a volcano exploded, mm-hmm. you leave everything and you go, right? Yeah. yeah. So how do you get people to abandon their values? How do you get the people to abandon you use Fear. Fear. Yeah. The other side of that, and this is what people used to talk about all the time, is love and joy and faith and, you know, kindness mm-hmm. and all these things. I was listening to a Michael Jackson song the other day. It doesn't matter um, uh, if you're black or white. Yeah. You get cancel. I mean, it's so you can't. Oh, yeah. Because you, you can think of that. Right? It's, it's just everything is canceled. You can't say that. I'm offended. You're terrible. You know, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this. I'm this. It's like, what, great. Yeah, but we that bygones be bygones is gone. So people are trapped into this fear, mm-hmm. this that's inappropriate. Mm-hmm. This and look, some things are, but yeah. but so much has been thrown out. Both of those comedians, um, Rowan Atkinson mm. and and uh, and John, uh, Cleese. John Cleese, both said we need to uh, push back. Uh, the, the, we need freedom of speech, freedom of expression. 
the right to be able to laugh at mm-hmm. ourselves, the mm-hmm. right to be able to joke and have fun um, because we're just so serious. Yeah. And there's a lot of funny things. Like, um, do, do you know the, the All Aussie Adventures? Remember that Australian show yeah, with yeah. Yeah. Troy Dan? Oh, is it Troy Dan? No, it's, um, who is it? Russell Coit. Russell, oh, Coit. Russell, Coit. Russell Coit. Now, Coit. he's making fun of Aussies, bro, yeah. and I love the show yeah. because it's just making fun of, because the, it's like when the Simpsons came on and did that episode of, of the, when they went to Australia and they were making fun of Aussies being totally love elbow it. drinking. Love it. It's great. It's Put absolutely. as much crap on us as yeah. you want. And same with, with Kiwis as well too. Yeah. But now it's like, well, that's inappropriate. You oh. can't say that. See, oh. who, who's the guy on the ABC? The really who dressed up as the girl and then the Tongan boy and oh yeah um, young guy Chris yeah Chris Lily, Lily. Chris Lily yeah mate yeah. if you're listening oh yeah. mate you're awesome you're so, seriously and for our American friends that haven't seen him yeah uh, do yourself a favor jump onto you I don't even know if it's on YouTube anymore that's the problem no, right it's probably banned but from that. Um, Chris Lily is really 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 funny and he's just it's just ridiculous he's putting himself into people and it's stereotypes which are funny. I mean, you know, I don't know why people get so offended. I mean, maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe this is part of the progression where there's, you know, hidden racism and all mm-hmm. the rest of it. Um, anyway. It's weird. And, and you know what they're missing out on? Laughter. And and laughter. And, and this is a paper published just this year in the current research of, of physiology. And so th- th- there's, there's many parts of laughter. The first thing it does, it uplifts your moods, increases endorphins, all that. So we know that. It improves actual mental health. It staves off Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Yeah, so I that's good. That. It improves cognitive functions. Yep. It improves respiratory functions. Yep. It improves pain tolerance, wow. reduces insomnia, improves circulation, and reduces stress. Oh, my God. I know. And, and they did this study on and laughter. And, and what they did, because you have to have a placebo with everything, right? right, right. We, we do. And it was, it was a hilarious study. Well, I, I found it funny because you had to watch either television, which was a serious documentary mm-hmm. just on wildlife, mm-hmm. and a comedy. Oh, well, oh well, okay. I, wildlife, I like wildlife. Yeah, yeah, but but you wouldn't laugh at it. No. So so they had to isolate, especially when the like lions eating the zebra's face. Like, <laughs> my, you know, my son was watching um, a documentary the other day. He is such a softy, <laughs> like Corbin. Yeah. Cro- like he, but, uh, we have to, we can't. No, no wildlife things where any animals get hurt. Mm, yeah. Such a soft-hearted little boy. I'm a bit soft, but but I, I must admit, you know, a crocodile eating a fish is not the end of the world for me. But oh, not a fish, but a a baby deer. Yeah, that'd be yeah? Really sad. Yeah, that yeah. would be. Nah, yeah. poor thing. Yeah. But but so so what <laughs> it's with this study was they, they got them to watch a documentary. Hopefully it wasn't any killing or anything. It's probably on I don't know what, but it was pretty bland. Didn't make them laugh. The laughter one. And and they measured a massive drop while they were watching the comedy of cortisol. Yeah, right. And a massive increase in serotonin. I it just was clear as day. Do you know, and a funny again, some of the, the, the ancient scriptures and mm. things like that it says cast no evil before your eye. And I wonder mm. if that's part of it as well, too. Don't don't, I mean, like these people that love the – hey, have you done the opposite? The people that watch all the horror films and the, the scary movies and that, right? They're doing that for a, a, a chemical response as yep, well too, yep, right? Yep. This fight or flight thing because yeah. most people want to feel something, right? I mean, I think people are sort of sick of going through life just beige, yeah. vanilla, yeah. five, you know? And so they want <laughs> – why would you go for, and watch, you know, I don't know, Saw – or, oh. or something like that, you know, yeah. when you can you can go and watch bloody, you know, Evil Dead 3 or <laughs> Sorry Married an Axe Murder. Now, that's, that's funny. funny. That's really that's funny. funny. That's Mike um, Myers, isn't it? Mike Myers, yeah. yeah. And this is actually – you can actually see the genesis of where he gets fat bastard from for <laughs> for um, uh, uh, Goldfinger, which yeah. is part of the Austin Powers Austin franchise, Powers. right? Are we allowed to say that? Is that going to get us in trouble? No, why? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what offends people these days. Uh, no, I mean, again, Canadians, very funny as well too. Mike Myers, yeah. um, Ryan Reynolds. I mean, oh, these, Ryan Reynolds, yeah, he's funny. Yeah, he's bloody funny. Actually, I, I think, yeah, oh my gosh, Deadpool. If you're over 18, you must watch Deadpool. <laughs> See, these are things, you've watched Deadpool, haven't you? Yeah. Yes, go, go and watch Evil Dead 3. Seriously, it's freaking funny. It's kind of the same sort of dark humour. I was talking to, to Brooklyn about it and she was just saying, oh yeah, I just want to see him in tights. And I went, oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Now I'm just making things up. Oh, that was me, was it? Yes. Do you remember that? Uh, was that Men in Tights? Men in Tights? Oh, that's tights. right. Yeah. Who was that? That was Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks, yeah. yeah. Another oh, good one. It's speaking funny. of offence, remember his, his original ones? Like Blazing Saddles? Oh, that, that, my that would, that If you cut that down today, that would be 10 minutes. No, no. Yeah. Oh, and Gene Wilder. <laughs> 
so good. He was in Blazing Saddles, yes. and also in the original. And also, I don't mind the new Willy Wonka. And people give it a hard yeah, time, but the original Willy Wonka. Yeah. There's a very dark scene in that when he's going in his boat as well. Too, have you seen that? Where it's got like very dark. Oh yeah. The funny is. thing is, in the friend of mine who's a theologian says, "You know what? Willy Wonka is a lot like God." I'm like, "Oh, that's an interesting really? spin on things." Oh. Yeah, very interesting. Anyway. Wow. Let's not go down that path. But okay. in terms of laughter and, yeah. and levity yeah, and all the rest it, of it, that's what, amazing. Stuff. What I actually found funny was in, in, in one of the studies that they quoted was, you know, you know, when you have an intervention group, like, you know, you have to list the side effects. And in the- I don't actually know when you have an intervention group, Steve. Tell me, what's that like? <laughs> well, the intervention group, <laughs> there's two types of studies, right? One's the placebo group where they watch the boring TV. Oh, for, right. Sorry. Yeah. I thought you meant like where they go, right, Steve, sit down. Yeah. Stop. Right. <laughs> You've got to stop. You're doing what you're doing. Look, right? the, the cocaine's just once a day. It's yes. not a big deal. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, Steve, it is a big deal. You can't do that. Just say no. And Thanks, quite, Nan- Thanks, Nancy. The, the, the intervention group um, where, where they watched the comedy, there was a side effect noted by one of the things, and it was incontinence. One of the ladies peed herself. Wow. <laughs> during the comedy. <laughs> really? Yeah. And they listed that as a side effect to the comedy. The woman, you know, just peed herself laughing. On YouTube, there's this awesome dude. No, seriously. And he goes around and Tony and I probably kill ourselves laughing for about 10 minutes. I can't remember what it is. And this guy scared his wife for a year. <laughs> See, this one. Do you know the goats that you scare? And they go, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, then fall. Yeah. That's funny as well, too. And actually, just watching goats is funny. Right? Have you seen the goats <laughs> do this, Steve? Yeah, they, they are freaking funny. See, Brooklyn's laughing just at my interpretation of the goats. <laughs> goats. But if you see the goats, it's actually much better than the real thing. If I call myself the real thing. They, is that, is that uh, if I refer to myself in the third person, is that kind of weird, Steve? No, nah, anyway, perfectly so, fine. Yeah, or as a goat, greatest of all time. Thank yes, you. My sons it. call me the goat all the time. I'm like, <laughs> get off your goat. It's like, <laughs> thanks, boys. That's yeah, anyway. No, but no, oh. seriously, this woman, he scared her. <laughs> I'm even laughing just thinking about it. It's making me happy. So he would just sneak up with the camcorder and like, oh, camcorder? <laughs> from the, from the <laughs> 80s? From that's the that's 80s? From he had a camcorder. <laughs> look it up. If you're under the age of 25, look it up. Yeah. We actually used to have telephones connected to the wall as well too with like strings. <laughs> Didn't we, Steve? Anyway. Yeah, I remember the two cans and the strings. Yeah. That, that was the walkie-talkies in the olden days. Yeah. Well, I remember, Steve, your first communication voice was, <laughs> hello. <laughs> it was smoke fires. And, and yeah. then, then Graham came along, Graham Bell came along. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, it was revolutionary. But anyway, he scared her. He scared his wife. Oh, my gosh. The look on her face. She yeah. would pull these faces like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember that? You remember that? Oh, it's just, anyway, go on. I've seen it. I don't it's know. Hilarious. We'll have to find it and we'll have to post the link of which one it was. Okay, Brooke. Yeah. Brooklyn, sorry. Brooklyn River Bridge. <laughs> okay. just, we're just getting a little bit fancy, a bit, a bit familiar, Steve. Yes. Um, she peed herself a lot. Yeah. And the thing is, is that, and then she'd, be, she'd, she'd go, oh, and then she'd literally yeah. go down to her pants. So incontinence is part of it because, it is. you know, just it obviously is. those muscles, right? They just relax at the wrong time. Yeah. But that, that was the side effect of the laughter. And I'm thinking, well, that's a side effect of, of an intervention group. Because you've got to remember, laughter is the best medicine because there are literally no side effects. And it's free. It's free. It's it's it it it's personal. You, you can you can get your phone out and laugh at you know people getting scared, or you can you might laugh at people falling over. You know this sort of stuff. You, whatever whatever you whatever gets you off. You know or gets. Well, what do you do on your phone? What, what sites are you on? Are you on my, are you on my only fans page again, Steve? I am. Hey? I've, I've got the gold subscription. That, so, yeah, yeah I, to, I need that $2.75, as I said. Right? <laughs> that's anyway. what you get every month, isn't it? Thanks, Steve. And that's just from you. <laughs> yeah. So, well, you know, I don't, you know, the content isn't really great. What's it's not right, rich sir? Not, content. Not getting off, you know? but what is it? It's, well, it's just me really eating cereal in the morning. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, I, mean, it's, but I don't know. I mean, whatever floats your boat. I mean, everyone's got their thing, right? But so, it's just the way you do it when i what? It's just because you're in the nutty, that's no, all. No. <laughs> Is it me putting on my socks? You know that Tony laughs at my toes because I, I've got size uh, 14. Yeah, you've got big right. feet, yeah. But my, my, she, my, my toes are as long as her little finger. <laughs> and I, so she finds that incredibly well, Tony's, endearing. Tony's not a – she's average <laughs> Let size. Let me stroke your hair with my finger. <laughs> I mean, whatever works for you, right? <laughs> Do you know that touching people's hair, Steve? Is it a very, very intimate thing? I bet it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have done it to my wife. She'd get peeled. Really? Oh, well, probably. You, maybe you haven't used your foot. <laughs> 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 you toes. Steve, yeah. So you can do these ones, right? 
I've got ugly feet. I've got really, you? Yeah, oh, from I've got lovely feet. Blisters. I could be a foot model. <laughs> Just saying. What? A long why, why are you laughing? Have you seen my feet? No. <laughs> no, I've, you haven't. <laughs> I've, I've shown her your only your fans only page, so she's seen your feet. Oh. Yeah. How come you haven't subscribed then? <laughs> <laughs> it must have a different meaning where you guys come <laughs> from. <laughs> I lost what I was trying to thought. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> God, Matt, the, the cameraman crying now. See, the, at least these guys. I mean, you know what? The red pen comes out, yeah. but at least these guys have a good time, right? We've got an audience of tens of thousands, yeah. but only two have got a front row seat. They, they get all of the gags. They get all the humour. Is there a bit of incontinence going on there? I think there's a bit of a patch there. I think these guys should we, – they, we should charge them for the medicine we're giving them. Exactly. This laughter. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Oh, geez. you got to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's so many sayings as well. Too. I wonder where these sayings come from, Steve. Right? You just got to <laughs> laugh, and it's true. You just have to laugh. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, and and again, I I just love shifting the focus <laughs> away from some of people's problems and just take that little bit of refuge out, Steve. Anyway, well, keep hitting me with the science, mate. I love it. I've got some science for you. Okay. From Patch Adams, and this was this is one of his quotes that I absolutely loved. Yes, and and Brooklyn wrote a blog on this, so she's she's brilliant. She's and and I'll just read this out. It's a perfect quote. It says, "People crave laughter as if they were an essential amino acid." Wow, cool. I'd I agree mean, with that. That is true, isn't it? It's yeah. like you know, I, I think people care about joy more than they care about their essential amino acids, don't they? You know, a, a life without joy is a very oh, sad life. Very sad life. And you've got to find it. And this yeah. is the thing as well, too. See, people are manufacturing it, which is kind of sad. But there's so many ways, Steve. Did it rate the difference in that study where it showed the different things? Did it show a difference between a genuine, like, belly laugh versus yeah. a sort of a, a forced sort of a... Forced laugh, yeah, it did. Yeah. Um, the, the genuine belly laughs performed better, but oh, the forced force. laugh still had an effect. But did it, did it show the difference? There was. There was a difference. You, can you... Can you uh, quantify it was? It was only difference? about like about thirty percent difference. Like really? they they all dropped. All the laughter groups lot dropped. And at the top of the, the the curve was the fake laugh, and at the bottom was the the true curve. So they all helped drop cortisol down. Right. But it was the the the, the true laughter, the, the one that, that dropped, dropped the, most. the most. And it dropped it. You know that that two forty to to ninety, which is better than any herb. Wow. It's better than any herb, wow. 90 minutes of laughter. So I, I couldn't believe that because, you know, normally we've got great herbs that drop it by 50% and all that sort of stuff. Yep, this dropped yep. it by over, you know, like 100% almost, you know. It's like it and it's free. It's, free. it's free. It's free. It's free. And this is the thing, isn't it? Choose a good disposition and, and go out of your way to actually make someone stay, to make them smile, to make them laugh. Yep. And it, isn't it true, Brooko? Like, yeah. I come down and we just laugh all the time. Hey, we oh, have yeah. so much fun. It's, in our office, it is we're just fun. telling jokes and just mucking around. Yeah. I, and I like to come down because it brightens my day as well too. Like sort of it does. Upstairs in my ivory tower, I look down upon everybody. <laughs> and I, yeah, I know. It's, it, well, no, it gets lonely up there. I mean, in the bullpen where you yeah. guys are at, like you guys having lots of fun and you're talking and like you guys, you know, everyone's working pretty hard. But, but there's I'm lots of laughing. alone in my own office. I'm alone, when, lonely when, loner. When I go upstairs, it's more about business and you, it's, there's less laughter up there. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. And that's a shame. It, it, it should be laughter. I've got actually a meta-analysis here I've got to talk about. It was published 2019. Now, a meta-analysis is those really stringent studies where they've looked at all the studies. So so, so it's a it's a group of studies. Group of studies, And yep. then they've created a consensus around a group of studies. Correct. So the studies might have been – how many studies yep. did it look at, Steve? Um, this, this one looked at um, – oh, geez, where was it? Review methods. Reviews. It was comprising of 814 participants – Right. Across, oh, I can't remember how many studies. So it was, a, it was a lot, probably probably about ten studies that would have been because of that right. that number, and which what, is good because then way yeah. you can't accuse anyone of bias, especially no. if they're pointing to the same sort of outcome, yep. right? And they found that it improved depression, yep. anxiety, and sleep quality. Is anyone really surprised? No, I guess it but, depends on how much it improves. It, Steve, yeah. was there a consensus? There on was that? a consensus. the The anxiety dropped better. Then, now, they only compared one intervention, uh-huh. which is a benzodiazepine drug. Prozac or something like that. No, it wasn't Prozac, but it was a it was Valium. Like Valium. Yeah, yeah right, Valium. we can say oh, that. Okay. So it was better than Valium. Do you know Valium is really interesting? Is it? Well, it is because I had some Valium when I was very young. Um, what did I have? I think I had a tooth. Oh, I put my neck out. I woke yeah. up one morning and literally my neck was cranked over like that. Yeah. And um, mum and dad took me down to the doctor and um, he gave me some muscle relaxants mm-hmm. and, and Valium. Valium, right? Mm-hmm. So 
I was only very young, so mum made me take it just just before I went to bed so that I wouldn't yeah. be all high. Woke up that morning, went downstairs to make myself some cereal. I was probably about 13 or 14. Yeah. And I was a pretty easygoing kid. Yeah. Like I never really – I always loved mum and dad. I never mm-hmm. really got into mini fights and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, it could be a bit of a snot nose from time to time, but generally I was, I was very soft-spoken, especially mm-hmm. to my mum. Anyway, I went downstairs, pulled the cereal. There was no milk, Steve. Slammed that fridge, went upstairs, kicked open mum's door and went – Where's the bloody milk? Oh, and mum geez. was like, what's going on there? Wow. But obviously, yeah. serotonin up, yep. serotonin yep. drop, and I was a very angry, 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 angry kid. And it would last all night because it's got a super long half-life. Right. Yeah. But wake up in the morning, obviously, still I was in, in a deficit, system. right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still, it's, 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 but, but benzos change your brain dramatically mm. and, and laughter changes your brain, but the effects of laughter on your brain are all positive. Right. Benzos, you know, attached to your benzodiazepine receptors and have a clinically depressive effect. Yeah. You know, and just so, but they don't, the, the side effects of them, but they can be addictive and all this sort of stuff. Laughter has literally, and it says here, no side effects reported apart from that intervention trial where someone peed themselves. Yeah. But there's no, nice. yeah, that, that just happens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but there's no, there was no problems with it. They, they, and of all the studies, they couldn't find any side effects, which makes sense. It's safe, convenient, and um, helps with all sorts of aspects of your brain life. St- Steve, if there's one thing, the yeah. universal thing that you would say is universal humor that makes everybody laugh. <laughs> yes. There, I, can I quote a quote? Pardon? What? No. There, I, I can tell you from Patch Adams' study. I'll, I'll, I'll say three words and I think everybody will get it. Right. It's universal. Yeah. Doesn't need translation. Yeah. Ball to nuts. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> there is no time ever that you're not going to laugh and kind of wince at the same time as yeah. if you're men. I mean, women, full, full fat, hearted <laughs> belly laughs, but, but, yeah. Oh, it makes you cringe too. It does. I think they actually had that on The Simpsons, didn't they? Remember oh, yeah, they, yeah, that's the, right. He, he did yeah. the, 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 it was at Lisa that did this um, yeah. montage of, you know, this in deep, really deep video, and she was a national finalist, and she ended yeah. up losing to oh, man, man Gets Hit with Ball and Nuts or something. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> it's funny. No. Oh. Anyway. Patch Adams said there's one thing that he's found going around the world that makes people laugh the most from all cultures, and he said that's fart noises. Really? Yep. I make fart noises that's, with that's, my mouth. That's What's probably, that from, Brooke? Oh. I mean, I probably do, but I don't know. Will Ferrell, another absolutely like Ferrell. brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, what you? does he do that in? What is it? Is it? It's not Step Brothers. I make fart noses with uh, Talladega Nights. Yeah, that's right. It is. It's Talladega Nights. So, and again, Will Ferrell, hilarious. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. You've you've got so it's much good. material to go out and watch. I, I mean, yeah, that was a funny movie. That too. was a great film. Oh yeah, <laughs> and that that um, uh, the guy who always um, what's it? What's the guy who always stars? He's quite funny too. Oh, don't uh, John C. Riley? Yeah, C. Riley. I was yeah. thinking it's got a letter in his. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, he is funny as well yeah. too. I, I really like. I appreciate him. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it's quite incredible. Um, also, with regards to pain, uh, laughter. Now I mentioned that before. It is as effective as some opioids. Wow. Yeah. Good That's pretty incredible. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, you're, you're in pain. Typically, you're miserable too. Yes. So it's having a depressive effect on your body. Yeah, exactly. So rather than you know reach for the medication, yeah, reach for a um, a video cassette and put it in your uh, VHS. Exactly. I mean, especially if it's chronic pain. Because, do you know? Do you know? I am you old. Know, if you're recovering you from know? a, I'm so old. I even remember Beta. Remember oh, beta? I remember Beta. Yeah. Well, well, that that was going to be better quality, bit, yeah. but shorter life. So they went for VHS yeah. instead. Yeah. The kids are like, what are they? What are these acronyms they're even talking? Yeah, about? I know. Look it up. Um, well, but yeah, it was a different type of at home video. Yeah, yeah. VHS and, was and the winner of was the, the winner. Two. Yeah. So there was two. Mm. There was Beta and VHS, and Beta had the better quality, yeah. but VHS had the longer, um, longer play yeah. life. Yeah. So they went for VHS. Amazing, isn't it? So you know, I always say it's all about quality over quantity, but clearly in that case. It didn't win. So <laughs> yeah. anyway, fascinating. Oh, Walk back to the 70s and 80s. Absolutely. I remember those days. Mm. But that's that's when humour was allowed. 
you know, like there yeah. was no, there was no off limits for humor back then. So I think we were funnier people back then. We were. Like, like, you know, think, think of the old movies that wouldn't be allowed, like the Animal House, you know, oh, where yeah. the, 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 oh, the depiction of drugs and all oh, that yeah, sort of yeah, stuff. No. And drinking and, yeah. and you know all that sort of stuff. It's just just classic. That we, we, we've got to get back to him. We've got to bring it. We've got to bring it back into medicine. Yep. And I know at the hospital where Beck works down the Gold Coast, they do have comedy clowns down there. Do they? They go around and and make people laugh. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. And she she dresses up sometimes as she's a nurse and just, just as especially at Christmas time and and does sort of Christmas just, just to bring joy to people's lives. Yeah, that's nice. You know, she doesn't go there and tell gags, but. But you know, it's like while you're inserting a catheter into someone, you you, you want to look cheery, I guess. You've got to cheer them up a bit. Yeah. You know, otherwise it's just all bad news, isn't it? Well, it is. And and, and you know, I, I think that ability to be able to just you know take a break and, mm. and step back from from you know the stress and the, yeah. and the constant negativity yep. and the fear, um, rather than replace it with nothing and zen and look yeah. fine if you want to go and do your meditation or whatever. And I think that's great. Yes. But. Flip the flip the switch to the other side. Absolutely, Let's go yeah. and have some joy and and share joy. Share joy. Yeah, make it addictive. Yeah, dude, you know, you, you be a little bit like Patch Adams. Take a leaf from his book and say, look, you know, I'm going to spread joy. I'm not going to be. Uh, I'm going to be a fountain, not a drain. Mm. I'm going to be a bit positive on people's lives and try and cheer people up and try and do little things for people to help them. And I think that 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 just spreads throughout society. Any other studies, Steve? Before you wrap it up, there was only one other one I wanted to talk about, which was. Um, the effects of laughter, this one, yep. on um, interpersonal relationships. It's got to be a good thing. It's a good, it's a great thing. It is really good for relationships too. Yeah. So even that sort of healing, laughter is good for that. You know, those sort of um, problems you may be having, it's very good for that too. Well, and the funny thing is, is that <clears throat> I think I'm reasonably funny. Yeah. I, I think I'm reasonably. I mean, like I tell jokes. I mean, you laugh. Come on. Don't don't you get all snooty on me, you little. See, she's laughing. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Yeah. Um, I'll come over there and I'll thump you, uh, which is totally inappropriate. Cut that. No. Um, uh, Tony thinks I'm not funny at all. No, I think not you're funny. at all. No, no. But but I think I'm reasonably <laughs> funny, which is probably funny. I laugh at yeah. my own jokes, which is terrible. Yeah. But um. But no. Uh, you're right. Humor. I always like to bring humor and levity and all the rest mm. of it. And Tony is just so. So serious. Why so serious? I feel like the joke. Why so serious? Oh, I still um, watch comedies like MASH. And, but and I've seen it millions of times. I, I, love I do love watching comedies with Tony. I, I, I absolutely, you know, that's my that's my wife. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, yeah, it, it's it's good. It's and, good. And that reminds me of the thing I said all the time, you know, when I first saw her. We said this last podcast. She doesn't like me for who I am. I can change. <laughs> so, so, it's like even in that there's humor, right? Yeah, so, um, yeah. Don't take yourself too seriously because nobody gets out alive. Alive. Alive, yeah. Sorry. That's right. That's, it, a, that's exactly you, right. You've got to laugh and, and laughter is infectious and it is very good for you from your brain to your body to everything, for your heart, everything. It's terrific. Cortisol levels, endorphin levels in your brain. It's just good for everything. Yeah. There's no downside. Yeah. Apart from peeing yourself. Yeah. Well, and that's only some people some of the time. And that can make other people laugh as well. Well, there you go. You, you're, sh you're sharing the joy, <laughs> sharing right? the joy. <laughs> But um, Steve, is that it? That's it, mate. I think that, we're done. We covered it. It's uh, it, it's it's so big a topic. I, I couldn't believe how much research was on it. Yeah, that's what I loved about it. Yeah. I well, loved and, and again, you know, go watch something funny. I mean, depending on your humor style, just just go and and switch off the news. But and, and that's the problem as well too. But but if you if you look at it this way, you can control your personal circumstances. Mm -hmm. You can use that idiot box, as they say, and actually use it for something that is going to bring light and laughter yeah. and joy and improve, reduce your stress levels. Or you can put on horror movies or worse, the, the news. news. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there a song from the Skyhooks on that? Um, it's the horror, horror movie right there on my TV. Yeah. Horror Do you remember that? Right I mean- that's really old, Steve. That is but, 75, um, I think. It's the 630 News, and that's when news was on at 630. God, I did a gig with Shirley Strawn in did Service Paradise Surf Club about 20 years Shirley's ago. Shirley's dead now, isn't he? He, he died, died in a helicopter crash. Did he die in a helicopter crash? Yeah. <sighs> so he, he was such a good guy. Good. Oh, he's a great singer. Yeah. And then I had to sing after him. Oh, oh that wow. was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like Shirley Strawn and... Yeah, <laughs> yeah the Skyhawks, great Australian yeah. band. But yeah. that, that, that was funny. Yeah. And they got it back then. Yes. I mean, it's on steroids now. Yeah. But yeah, switch off the TV, switch off that, put on something funny, find, go and get a list of, of movies that make you laugh and make yeah. you joyous and try it for a week and see what happens. 
Well, Jer- hey, here's a challenge, right? And I would love to hear from our listeners and our viewers as well too. For one week, turn off anything negative. I mean, I, I appreciate it. not asking you to stick your head in the sand. I mean, mm. like, you know, what have you. But but instead of basting yourself and sitting in the, bo- the water that's boiling, turn off the news. Yeah. Just don't watch any horrors or thrillers for a week and just – decide to watch even if it's a a, a 30 minute show like mm. you know black adder goes forth or uh red dwarf depending on your humor right yeah. i mean there's quirky stuff there i mean we we're watching young sheldon the boys are watching young sheldon oh that's they? funny they're, they're laughing at that yeah. they think that's kind of funny malcolm in the middle do you yep. remember these shows i mean just just funny right you know what's that it's it's a bat what's a bat it's just a rat with wings <laughs> it's like it's just such great humor and some of this just and then on the weekends just watch a couple of really funny funny movies mm. and just see what happens see see how your life changes see how your outlook changes i like the big bang theory too speaking of young oh, v- awesome awesome yeah. show love it because you know, scientists are all a bunch of idiots nerds, yeah they're know? so funny it's it's great anyway yep, Steve, we're, go. we're out of time yep thank you Loved it. We'll be back next week with some more. A lot of joy. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, the red pants definitely yeah, come out. Yeah, Can go. you not save some of that? <laughs> That's <laughs> you already with the red, red pen for this one. It's <laughs> oh. I, oh my what? God. <laughs> what? I love it. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, that's red pen. That's that's yeah. That's a. That's that's not a snippet. That's a snippet. That's a cut. It out. Oh, no. oh.